Okay, now let's look at part B of the problem of the uh, man pushing a small crate up the ramp. So in part B, we're going to add friction to the problem. So part B, my free body diagram is going to look almost the same. I'll redraw it right here. So here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. I'm still going to have a normal force. I'm still going to have an applied force. I'm still going to have the weight, which I'll say is F sub G. And same angle, except now I'm also going to have a friction force. Friction force, which is opposing the motion. Okay. So now I need to calculate the work. And before I do that, I should probably do my sum of the forces again, since that changed. Sum of the forces in the X and sum of the forces in the Y. Okay, the Y direction didn't change. That's still N minus FG cosine theta equals zero. Okay. But the X direction did change. So before I had the applied force minus the X component of the weight. Well, now I have the applied force minus the force of friction minus the X component of the weight. Okay, so that means if I solve for the applied force, now the applied force is going to equal the force of friction plus the X component of the weight. Okay, but I can solve for that. Force of friction is mu times the normal force. Well, the normal force is Fg cosine theta, so I'm just gonna put that in there, and then plus Fg sine theta, okay? And then I can factor out F sub G, so that would look like, uh, well, F, F sub G is just the weight, so I'll write as Mg, and then mu cosine theta plus sine theta. Okay, there's my applied force. The angle between the applied force and the displacement is still zero degrees, that didn't change. So I think I'm ready to calculate my work. So the work done by the applied force is the magnitude of the applied force times the displacement times the cosine of phi, which is different from theta. Okay, the applied force, I just solved for that. That's mg times mu cosine theta plus sine theta times the displacement times the cosine of phi. And I know all these things I'm ready to plug in. Okay, so the mass was 55 kilograms. G is 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, and then in here I have mu. And if I go back up to the problem, let's see the coefficient of friction is 0.22. Okay, so I'll go back down here. Let's put that in 0 0.22 times the cosine of theta, which is 12 degrees, plus the sine of theta, which is 12 degrees. And then the displacement is 200 meters, and times the cosine of zero degrees. Remember that phi is zero degrees, different from theta. Okay, so I'm ready to plug this into the calculator, so let's do that now. So I get 55 times 9.81 times 0.22 times the cosine of 12 degrees, and again, you gotta make sure that you are in degree mode, times the sine of 12 degrees, times 200, and then the cosine of zero is one, so I don't need to plug that into the problem. And looks like I get an answer of 2.82 times 10 to the, let's count one, two, three, four, Jules.